Welcome. This is a video supplement to the first randomized controlled trial comparing 29 megahertz micro ultrasound with conventional ultrasound for the detection of prostate cancer. Micro ultrasound operates at a higher frequency compared to conventional ultrasound, allowing it to image the prostate with much higher resolution. The 70 micron resolution of the exact view device is similar to the size of a normal prostatic duct, allowing visualization of disruptions in the normal tissue structure, which are suspicious for cancer. Other than offering improved targeting, micro ultrasound is simply a replacement for conventional truss. In this study, patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either conventional ultrasound biopsy or micro-ultrasound biopsy. Biopsy procedures were identical and limited to exactly 12 samples, regardless of targeting or prostate size. 1,676 men were enrolled and included in the intention to treat analysis. All patients received a standard biopsy protocol, regardless of ultrasound device used. Biopsy was performed under local anesthesia, with exactly 12 samples taken, one to each half sextant zone. For example, left base lateral, left base medial, left mid lateral, etc. If an area of suspicion was seen within a particular half sextant zone, the sample for that zone was directed to the suspicious area. Otherwise, the sample was taken from the center of the zone systematically. At the start of the study, Investigators were trained on the operation of the micro-ultrasound system only, as no information was available on micro-ultrasound image interpretation. The trial was paused at approximately two-thirds recruitment, and the first portion of data used to study micro-ultrasound image interpretation and developed what became known as the PRIMUS protocol. The clinical protocol was updated at this point to add a new prospective endpoint to measure the effect of training on the PRIMUS protocol. All investigators then received training on image interpretation using this protocol, and the remaining one-third of biopsies were performed. This early work on micro-ultrasound was performed using the first-generation research device. Feedback from investigators and data from this study were instrumental in producing the second-generation clinical version of the ExactView micro-ultrasound system which has been subsequently studied and is commercially available. The PRIMUS protocol developed during the mid-trial pause was reported on by Guy et al. in the Journal of Urology in 2016. More details on how this protocol was developed and validated can be found in this publication. The system relies on various textural patterns observed in the tissue, in addition to the standard hypoechoic findings of conventional ultrasound. Here we see an example of a micro-ultrasound video showing a small hypoechoic lesion in the posterior apex sampled transrectally. The still micro-ultrasound images on the left show various other patterns suspicious for cancer on the primus scale. Micro-ultrasound did not find more significant prostate cancers than conventional ultrasound overall, leading to a negative result for the primary outcome of the study. This is perhaps not unexpected, since no data on micro-ultrasound interpretation was available until the latter third of the trial. However, the secondary outcome on the effect of training was surprisingly positive. The sensitivity of micro-ultrasound after primus training more than doubled and represented a 60% improvement over conventional ultrasound sensitivity. This was confirmed when separating out each primus score showing clear risk stratification well beyond the non-suspicious and suspicious labels used prior to training. The relatively small number of patients completed after primus training likely diluted the effect of the improved sensitivity on overall detection rate. In addition to the late training on micro-ultrasound interpretation, a clear and significant effect was seen when undersampling of the prostate apex using side-fire micro-ultrasound transducers was accounted for. Many micro-ultrasound biopsies were too far from the apex and missed the apical horn entirely because of the initial transducer design. This caused a decrease in systematic cancer detection and thus a negative bias in the micro-ultrasound arm. 
This has been established for side-fire transducers in general, in prior reports. An instruction on how to avoid this using side-fire transducers is clearly important. In order to estimate the magnitude of this effect, measurements were performed blinded to the outcome for all micro-ultrasound cases. When removing cases with poor apical sampling, the micro-ultrasound shows clear superiority with a 19.4% higher rate of significant prostate cancer found. The precise choice of threshold for removing these cases was unimportant, according to a sensitivity analysis, showing the effect persisted over a wide range of reasonable values, including even those samples taken over one centimeter from the apex. A simple technique has been validated to improve apical horn sampling with the side fire transducer, which is shown here, along with redesign for the commercial version of the system. When this technique is used, there is no difference in systematic detection rates compared to end fire truss. After appropriate training, micro-ultrasound resulted in a clear and significant improvement in sensitivity to detect clinically significant prostate cancer. When correcting for proper systematic biopsy, a PERP protocol analysis shows approximately 20% higher rate of clinically significant prostate cancer detection in the micro-ultrasound arm compared to conventional ultrasound. One may be concerned that this post hoc correction for systematic biopsy quality has introduced questions of bias in the conclusions. In order to answer these, we turn to newer studies completed on the second generation ExactView platform, which includes a redesign to address the issues discovered during this trial. Newer studies are consistent with the PER protocol analysis, showing performance comparable to MRI fusion biopsy, with clear and significant improvements in sensitivity, negative predictive value, and clinically significant prostate cancer detection rate.